decided to tear out all the high places in the kingdom and begin bring the whole kingdom back into covenant with God. And so they entered into covenant to seek the Lord God, their Father, with all their heart and all their soul. And how did they enter that covenant back with God? They tells us, uh, the scripture in 2 Chronicles 15, 14 tells us, they make an oath. You know, in every covenant, there's always an oath. There's always a promise made. And that promise was made to the Lord with what? Shouting. This word shouting comes from the Hebrew word, teruah. This word trumpet comes from the Hebrew word that referred to the silver trumpet. And this is the Hebrew word horn that referred to shofar. So whether it's a silver trumpet or shofar, they were both used together. And the covenant promise that the whole kingdom is dedicated back to God is done with loud blowing of the shofar. Now can you see, this is very clear, how the sound of the shofar got to do with covenant. One more example I can give to you is in Zechariah 9, 11, 16. It tells us in this scripture, God said, because of the blood of my covenant with you, I have set the prisoner free from the water of the spirit. What happened if you read all the rest of the verses, God promised because of the blood of my covenant, so one day God will blow the trumpets, and then God going to save them in that day. So this is the scripture verse I can share with you that I really see a very clear connection here for covenant. But try to understand the principle of covenant here. You remember the Israelite in, Ex- in Exodus chapter 2, they were uh, crying out before God because they had been enslaved for about 400 years, 400 over years. And then the word of God tells us, okay, um, they begin to cry out to God for help because of their bondage and their cry rose up to God. And what happened? God heard the groanings and He says what? God remembered His covenant with Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. Okay? And God saw the sons of Israel and God took notice. Now this is the powerful principle. I don't know why our God is like that. But when you remind Him of His covenant with you and what He promised you, He had to take notice. He had to respond because he's a faithful covenant keeping God. Okay? And so because of this reminder, the cry, okay, so God um, notice and you know the story God sent um, Moses to deliver his people. Another example I can give to you in the prayer of dedication um, of the temple that God asked um, the son of David, Solomon, King Solomon, to build. And then this is record for in 2 Chronicles 6, 19 uh, to 21. And remember in this prayer how uh, King Solomon said to God, whenever my people sin against you, if they pray towards this temple, hear from heaven and answer and forgive. And even if they're out in the city, in the battlefield, when they pray towards this temple, deliver them, save them from the enemy. So they always uh, point back to this temple. What's so sick about the temple? Isn't that a place of covenant? Because that is where uh, 